Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Today I bring you guys a highly requested video. It's Guy versus Kakashi. I hope you will agree with most of my arguments, but if not, don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Right, let's get to it. Kakashi was raised by the famous Sakumo Atake, and we can all agree that he indeed inherited his talents. He soon became popular amongst his peers and recognized as the best of his generation. Kakashi graduated from the academy in a single year at the age of five. Guy, on the other hand, was first rejected by the Ninja Academy because of his lack of ability in both ninjutsu and genjutsu. He will be accepted as an alternate later on. Besides being mocked for most of his childhood, Guy kept training to shorten the power gap between him and Kakashi. He improved so much his taijutsu that in the tuning exams, he managed to defeat Obito, but not Kakashi, who graduated Chunin at only six years old. We don't get to know much about Guy's childhood, but we know that after he became Genin, his father, Might Dai, showed him the eight gates technique and taught him how to train this ability. So it is really likely that during his days as a Chunin, Guy was able to at least open four to five gates. Kakashi was promoted Jonin at the early age of 12, and he already had an a rank Jutsu like the Chidori in his arsenal. Anyway, Kakashi's Chidori was considered an incomplete Jutsu by Minato after seeing the effects of the tunnel vision that the Jutsu gave Kakashi. During the Third Great War, it was clear Kakashi lacked on combat experience, and that's a normal thing when you consider his age but I still scale him as a mid-tier Jonin. After obtaining Obito Sharingan, Kakashi has now perfected his Chidori by overcoming the tunnel vision caused by the combination of the speed that he was moving at and the bright light of the Chidori. All this was possible thanks to the Sharingan ability to predict the movements of a target and its visual perception. Kakashi! Due to his role in Rin's death and his failure to honor Obito's last request by protecting her, Kakashi began dropping into a depression. Minato tried to help him emerge from the darkness he'd fallen into by assigning him to the Anbu forces. Thanks to his talent, Kakashi became captain of Team Ro, composed of strong shinobi like Itachi and Yamato. At this point, Guy tried to enter the Anbu forces so that he could help Kakashi through his growing depression, but his request was refused by Hiruzen. The reason given to him was that he lacked the necessary darkness required to be an Anbu, and not because he wasn't strong enough. So I scale this Might guy at high Jonin level, but still below Kakashi. Base guy is almost feetless, and yeah, of course he was a top tier Taijutsu, but beside that, he doesn't have any combat ability or feet worth mentioning. About Kakashi instead, we can mention at least a thousand Jutsu, and you can get the conclusion he has a way more versatile arsenal than Guy. In a 1v1, Kakashi would surely avoid engaging Guy in a Taijutsu confrontation, and he would try his best to keep him at a long range in order to spam all his ninjutsus. And when we also add his Sharingan to this confrontation, I don't see what base Guy could try to even do without opening any of his gates. I tried depicting this fight in my mind, and every time I had Guy punching the shit out of Kakashi. Don't get me wrong, I think this would be a balanced fight, but I came up with the conclusion that Guy is just too fast for Kakashi to handle, and Kakashi in the beginning of Shippuden still has a big stamina problem where Guy instead can withstand his sixth gate with minor later drawbacks. Is against Deidaro when we first get to see Kakashi using Kamui and he isn't as good at it as he will be later on in the series. In fact, he can't fully control the size or the position of the portal, but he still managed to chop off one of Daedra's arms, forcing him to retreat. Anyway, I don't see Guy letting Kakashi perform his Kamui, especially while in his six gates form. Guy's too fast for Kakashi to handle, and he wouldn't have the time to properly aim and perform his Kamui before getting blitzed and defeated in Taijutsu. <laughs> Kakashi! 
Kakashi against the Diva Path proved to have become way more confident and precise with his Kamui, and this time I see Kakashi winning in most scenarios. Kakashi would chop off any part of Guy's body, and even though Guy, as I said before, is very fast in this form, keep in mind that this Kakashi managed to teleport a nail thrown by the Diva Path and one of the Asura's Path missiles, so I'm pretty sure that he would be able to do the same on a moving 6th gate Guy. War Art Kakashi has way more chakra at his disposal, and he's able to spam Kamui, Reikiri, and many more elemental jutsu without major drawbacks, and he also became even more precise and fast at using Kamui, since he was able to teleport one of KCM Naruto's Shadow Clone, who is faster than the Rikage. He also managed to damage multiple V2 Jinchurikis with his lightning cable, so the buff is definitely present. But Seven Gates Guy is insanely fast and strong, and his Hiridora against Kisami covered an entire island. And I see Kakashi being overwhelmed by this amount of power. And here we are with Eight Gates Guy versus DMS Sasano Kakashi. So I won't waste too much time explaining each other's abilities, but I'll get straight to the point. Can we counters Taijutsu? And not only Kakashi can phase through everything, rendering useless any of Guy's offensive attempts, but he could either teleport Guy or suck himself into Obito's dimension, and then wait for Guy to right away die by opening the 8th gate. Not even if Kakashi was tangible, which is not the case, I still see Guy with low chances of victory, maybe by kicking Kakashi out of his Sisano, just like Jigen did against Sasuke. But that would mean assuming that Guy would be able to dodge both Kamui Shuriken and Kamui Raikiri while trying to do so. And I'm not saying Guy wouldn't be able to do that, but I find it very hard to believe since Kakashi managed to tag a way faster character like Kaguya in this form. And again, this attempt would be possible only taking out Kakashi's intangibility, which is kind of unfair to him. Guy fans, I'm sorry, you will see Guy winning in another versus battle, but seriously, Kamui is the perfect counter to 8 Gaze Guy, who has no chance against somebody who can't be touched. Hokage Kakashi has less reaction time since he doesn't have the Sharingan anymore, but his new purple lightning jutsu is insanely strong and he now also has more chakra to rely on. Guy is on his wheelchair with any combat feat to take into account. In Boruto, Guy is still on his wheelchair, but he's now able to fight. In fact, he low diff took down both Metal Lee and Iwabe standing on a single leg. From what I'm aware, Kakashi is not taking part in any particular mission in Boruto, and I kept him with the same power level. So there we go, guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for further uploads. This is Anime Scale out. Bye.